What is up, everybody? Scratch coming up with another Raid Shadow Legends video. We have the 10x on everyone's favorite couple at the moment, guys. Sifi and Rotos. Now, the chances to summon a legendary champion are still the same. The chances to get the 10x champions are, oh my god, super slim, okay? So if you manage to get one, go and buy a lottery ticket because you're going to be extremely lucky. Now, we're going to open Ancients and Sacreds. We are currently on Johnny Hex's account, okay? For whoever remembers my buddy, we've been opening shards on this account for a very long time. We tried to get Draco, we tried to get Roto, Sifi, Hegemon, many different champions uh, in the past uh, few years, I would say like this. Now he's missing Rotos, okay? So we're gonna pray that we're gonna get a Rotos with the shards that he has. Before we jump over to talk about all that, guys, if you enjoy the music you hear in the video, I partner up with Soundstripe. They have an amazing music library. Feel free to check them out. I will be leaving their link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. Plus, I can save you a 15% on checkout by using code SCRATCH. Now, that being said, guys, time to crack on it. We're gonna start with the Ancients. We're gonna leave the Sacreds for the last scenes. Next weekend, we're going to have 2x chances on Sacreds, okay? So, hopefully, these 300, uh, 390 Ancients are going to cut the job. One Rotos, that's all we ask. Now, I'm not sure how close he is to the Mercy system. Hopefully, we're not going to get that close to it. I feel like he's been unlucky for such a long time. And with Cecia, with uh, Rotos, even with Draco, it took him such a long time to get Draco that by the time he got him... You didn't need a Draco anymore, you know? So, hopefully, we're gonna manage to, to get that, uh, that Rotos. Hopefully, hopefully. And, of course, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Are, are you pulling for uh, this event or you're just keeping the 10 axes completely? Like, I don't really recommend most of the people to, to open for 10 axes. In this case, since he's kind of like his most wanted non-void champion... I feel like, yeah, he's gonna go for it and pray, you know? He can go pretty pretty crazy in without man managing to pull one of them. Like we've seen last weekend on the 2x Ancient Stanex Skymar, 4k Ancient Shards without getting the, the 10x Champion, which is absolutely disgusting. Something like that it just shouldn't happen. But it seems like we're getting taxed pretty hard, a bunch of rares so far. We will have to stop in and make some uh, space at some point the good part is that we're getting some rares for uh, the fusion so that's gonna be the the good part for uh, him so far unfortunately we're not getting the epic the epic saves us quite a bit of time you know let's see what do we have here can we see that rotos coming in we don't care about the quantity of uh, legendaries we care about the quality so it doesn't matter if we only get one out of all these shards as long as it's rotos you know and what do we have the first rotos is an astrolite damn it that doesn't look like Rotos at all. Get out of here. Get out of here, Astrolite. Bring me that Rotos. Massalia Mage, pretty strong uh, epic champion. Sepulcher Sentinel, nice. We gotta make some space and we'll be right back. Hopefully, we're gonna make it happen from this 290 left. We open 100, we go one legendary. That was Astrolite. Definitely not something that uh, we were looking for. Okay, paying the tax, paying the tax here. Okay, we got Taresk. That's one of the new epics. She is decent -ish. I'm not sure about the multipliers, actually. I haven't checked. And what do we have? Ah, uh, we have a Danag Skull Reap. Is that a new legendary that got released recently? I think last month. Damn it. That doesn't look like Rotos either, man. Doesn't look like Rotos either. We don't care about the quantity. We care about the quality. What else do we have in here? Let's see. I can't even remember what that legendary does, though. High Katoon. Okay. Deacon, Armstrong, Rockbreaker. This felt like a like a 2x uh, Ancients with all those epics in a pool. Okay. Rotos, I can, fe I can feel you. Come home. No, not yet. Okay, tax. Fair enough, fair enough. Karam. A shame we don't really have a big use for Karam, Karam anymore. 
poison detonation is not as great as, a, as it used to be, especially on the higher stages. What do we have? What do we have here? Tarshan, Arvir the Alchmage. That's a decent rare champion, especially for Faction Wars. Infernal Baroness. Another one of these Trugor. We got so many already, huh? Come on, Rotos. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Another Massalia Mage. Back at it. 190 more. Rotos, please. RNG Jesus. Make it happen. Make it happen. We paid the tax. Enough tax has been paid already. Just give me one Rotos. Give me one Rotos. Let's make Johnny happy. Because he's been... He's been wishing to get a Rotos for such a long time, man. Deacon Armstrong, Visionary. That's what happens when you start the game after, after fusions. I feel like they should definitely make a way for people to be able to get some of the older fusions. I don't know what they can do, but it would be nice if they would do something, you know? A lot of you guys, they started the game uh, later. A lot of people quit this game. New people coming in. That's why we kind of need some sort of system to be able to get the old uh, fusion champions. At least... Maybe put them all in the in the shop where we where we trade dupes, you know. If that's the only option, it's still an option better than than none, you know. Better than not having any other option. Come on, Rotos, where are you hiding? That was a lot of tax. Rares after rares after rares. Soon soon will be over 150 since we got a legendary. The second one dropped in pretty early, I think, in the second or the third pool so we are getting pretty close to that mercy system nobody likes to to hit the mercy system guys it's honestly such an awful thing where are we lord legionary no thank you Fergus, pretty good epic rotos bigan no that doesn't look like rotos either man come on jesus what is happening what is happening? We might have enough Ancients to summon another Legendary Man, but damn. We want to get that Rotos. We don't really care about all this nonsense. Okay, so we are around 15 in the Mercy. We have 90 more. We'll be back in a second. 90 left. 23 Sacreds, please. One Rotos, man. Come on. Why, why, why is this 10x so bad? Why? Why are the chances so low? Why they, they can't just... Make a system to guarantee a legendary after you got screwed so many times. You know, like they gotta make some sort of a mercy system after five legendaries. Long beard, god damn it, is not what we're looking for. This is the fourth legendary that's not part of the 10x. And we have exactly 80 plus more shards. No, 70 plus more shards to go. So we're gonna have like 75 in. Damn. Doesn't feel good at all, man. It's actually painful to see that four legendaries still not the 10x. I feel like the fifth one should be guaranteed the 10x champion if you don't manage to get it by by then, you know, because it's so annoying to <laughs> to go through this over and over again, you know. I feel like I think we had two more 10xs on Rotos before, and he definitely had some sort of a similar situation like now. It's definitely disappointing to, to see it happening, you know. But maybe your luck is being is much better, guys. So let me know in the comments down below. How many of you guys yoloed one shard and managed to get one Rotos, huh? I'm sure there's somebody out there who did it. What do we have here? A bunch of rares. Man, we are getting so, so close to, to the end of these ancient shards. Come on. Rotos. Stop hiding. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. What do we have? What do we have? Allure. Damn. That was all for, for Ancients, guys. 23 Sacreds. Please, RNG Jesus. Please, make it happen. Pretty, pretty, please. One Rotos. That's all we ask. One. Just to break that curse, you know. Romero. Defiled Sinner. I'm getting anxious here, man. I'm getting anxious. 
Taurus, 20 more Sacreds. Kyoku, she's actually a very nice champion. She's kind of newish from the Shadow King, but man, where is that Otos? Please, this is the fifth legendary that we're getting on the 10x without actually getting the 10x champion. So Ragi. Third the Hungerer, man. This makes me feel sad, man. This makes me feel sad. Marksman, 15 more. But I'm being positive here. Let's let's change the vibe. We're, we're getting it. We are getting it. The next one right here is Rotos, guys. The next one is Rotos. I know it. I know it. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Pestilus. Or whatever you say his name. Something like that. Karam. 12 more. We are halfway through, guys. We got a Lego early on. Royal Guard. Nice. Good dupe. Triple, quadruple. Fifth, sixth, whatever. A lot of uh, a lot of Royal Guards needed nowadays. Umetogi. 10 more shards. Please. Okay. This is the fusion one. Nice. So we got one epic for the fusion. Not like that matters that much. Akak the Vandaran. Eight more shards to go. Jotun. Oof. Sweet RNG Jesus. Make it happen. Make it happen. Another Dart the Hungerer. Six more sacreds. Rotos come home. Come home Rotos. Aina. Whatever this guy, Broad Lord, he might be newish as well. <sighs> Man, what is happening? What is happening? 19 or 18 sacreds with no legendary. Rask. No! No! Rule the Handmaster! This is legendary number 6 without getting Grotos. This is absolutely crazy, man. Crazy. Plarium. Shame on you, Plarium. This is not the way it should be. Honestly. Not the way it should be. They definitely need to make something to improve these rates, man. Like, yeah. That's it. I'm done. I'm out of here.